Hello there people, this is Clarence and welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Today uh, we're going to be doing episode 4 of Ain't That a Batch and this is a series on doing Instacart and its extra adventures. Um, we're going to talk about everything from how much money that I make to the things that I like about Instacart, the things that I don't like about Instacart, etc. But but what I would like to do right now is talk to you about something that happened last week. So let's get started. So I was trying to take care of some business, um, some important business downtown, and that turned out to be very frustrating, and I didn't accomplish anything with that. Um, I just needed to take a bus from my parking spot that was 10 minutes away from downtown. I didn't want to drive downtown because it cost too much for parking. So I tried to purchase a, a purchase a bus card from Jewel Osco, and it's called a Venture Card, and I, you know, and it took me almost an hour to to buy the card and to get the information on there correct so that I can use the card on the bus, and it took so long that I was late for my appointment. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, no nor there. So anyway, I'm on my way home. And um, I turn on my Instacart app and I go online and just happen to catch a batch at uh, the Walgreens in Hyde Park. So it was a simple batch and I tell you, sometimes I do not like simple batches. It was only three items, some body wash, some booty pampers for adults, and some Chips Ahoy cookies. Sounds simple, right? guess again don't count on it but moving right along the customer um, texted me to let me know that the address that that the, she wanted these items to go to was not the same address that was on the app so um, she wanted to go about eight miles away from the Walgreens so she's like how do I cancel and I'm like well where's the address and um, She's like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, I can, I can go to the address. I can, I can do that for you. So she was like, great. And so she said, I will tip you. And she didn't say how much she was going to tip me. I said, okay, cool. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting a big tip anyway, coming from the address that she gave me, but for how far I was going, but maybe a five dollar tip I thought would be cool, would be nice. So anyway, I called Instacart, and by the way, you can call Instacart now for shopper support. I thought that was cool, <coughs> and I had to let them know that the address on the app was different from the address that we, she wanted me to go to. So I, I wanted to know how to handle that. So it was an African dude, and I could barely understand what he was saying. And um, so anyway, I gave him my spiel, and then a conversation ensues, and he tells me that he's going to call me as soon as he wanted to know how far it was from how many minutes it would take to get there, and I told him, and so he said he would call me in about 25 minutes. And um, so uh, when I got to the destination, I called the customer and to let her know that I was out in front, and then her brother came down. I thought she was coming down, but it was her brother that came down and then so he picks up the items and he I was talking on the phone and he thought that was his sister so he said thank you sis and then he went back upstairs to so shortly after the Instacart dude from Africa calls me back and wanted to know what happened so I said what happened uh, the delivery was complete but I didn't know how much the tip was he wanted to make sure I got a good tip but I, I didn't know how much the tip was until I closed out the delivery completed delivery so, um, so he he said that he you know he just wanted to know if he needed to give me a bump or anything. So, so like I said previously, um, I only expected about two to four dollars from this batch. Ah, ah, ah. So uh, I swiped to complete the delivery, and after hanging up on the phone with the the guy from Africa, guess what happens? He gives me a $5 bump. That was cool. 
then a few minutes later, I um, I looked on the app to see if she had tipped me, and there was no tip. I was like, yeah, that batch lied. Ain't that a batch? Then later, I get on I get on the app to find that there was an additional ten dollar tip on it from the customer. Glory, hallelujah. <laughs> and I was I was pleasantly surprised. And it just goes to show you if you just stay humble, just stay humble, you can be pleasantly surprised. So the batch was only about nine dollars and fifty cents. I got a five dollar bump and a ten dollar tip. That comes out to twenty-four dollars and fifty cents just for three items and eight miles. And the three bears lived happily ever after. So hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, just say yeah yeah and press the like button. And if you want to get more involved, comment. And if you have a lot of nerve, you can even subscribe to this channel. So thanks for visiting. And stay tuned for the next episode of Ain't That a Batch and Other Adventures later. And for all you people out there that's, that's, that's in the S, uh, SHU, Side Hustle University, just one thing before I go, and that is, let's get that bag, hustlers. <laughs> <laughs>